Aurangzeb and his Deccan policy. Aurangzeb came to throne by defeating his brothers and imprisoning his father. He faced many difficulties in his reign of 50 years. His Deccan policy forced him to impose taxes on non-Muslims in order to mitigate his economic constraints. This tax was known as Jazia. During his long reign, his empire reached the largest size. It stretched from Kashmir in the north to Jinji in the south and from Hindu Kush in the west to Chittagong in the east. Mir Chumla, the governor of Bengal, annexed Kuch Bihar and subdued the Ahoms of Assam. However, this was for a short period of time and these places were lost by the Mughals. Later, Shaista Khan, the next governor, captured Chittagong, which was a centre of Portuguese commercial activities. Chittagong was named Islamabad by the orders of the emperor. When Bijapur and Golconda fell beneath Aurangzeb's might, rebellious Hindus flocked to join Shivaji and his Maratha confederacy using guerrilla mode of warfare. Shivaji took control of three Bijapur forts formerly controlled by his father. With these victories, Shivaji assumed leadership of many independent Maratha clans. Marathas under the leadership of Shivaji captured forts belonging to both Mughals and Bijapur. Shivaji successfully drove the Mughal armies out of Deccan and was crowned Chhatrapati or King of the Maratha Confederacy in 1674. While Aurangzeb continued to send troops against him, Shivaji expanded Maratha control throughout the Deccan until his death in 1680. Aurangzeb continued to wage wars against the Marathas for a long time. After his death, new leadership arose in Marathas who soon became unified under the rule of Peshwa. Aurangzeb himself went to Deccan to crush the Maratha power. He annexed Bijapur in 1686 and Golconda in 1687. Shivaji was succeeded by his son Sambhaji who was defeated and executed by Aurangzeb. He also imprisoned Shambhaji's infant son Shahu and his family. Aurangzeb remained in Deccan till 1707 and kept on crushing the revolt of Marathas and expanding his territories until he died in CE 1707. Aurangzeb, however, could not crush Marathas completely. Decline of Mughal Empire Aurangzeb's Rajput policy was just the reversal of Akbar's Rajput policy. Akbar tried to be a friend through alliances, marriages and by giving them high posts in administration. But Aurangzeb had constant conflicts with Rajputs particularly in Mewar and Marwar. Aurangzeb's imposition of heavy taxes led the Jats of Mathura and Satnamis of Punjab to rebel against Aurangzeb. Guru Teg Bahadur, the ninth Guru of Sikhs, was executed in Delhi as he reacted to the policy of religious intolerance of Aurangzeb. At the place of his execution now stands a Gurdwara known as Shish Ganj Gurdwara at Delhi. After this, the relationship between Sikhs and Mughals became strained. Guru Gobind Singh, the 10th Guru of Sikhs, organized the Sikhs into a Khalsa, a military group. It was free from caste and creed. After this, the Sikhs fought the Mughals.